Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. I want to apologize for the things that I've said about Lauren Daigle. I said that Lauren Daigle was playing church in the early years so that she could basically sell Christians albums until she achieved mainstream success. And then when she got to mainstream success, she was going to abandon the whole facade and just become a traditional mainstream pop musician. And I said that, and I want to apologize. I found out Lauren Daigle is a sincere Christian whose only desire in life is to glorify God and to let people know about Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection. And I know and I believe that when she gets mainstream success, she's not going to drop the facade. She's going to be true, and she will not deny the Lord in any way, shape, or form. She won't do that. Matter of fact, I, I even was excited. I just found out she got to be on the Billboard YouTube channel. I mean, how exciting is this? She gets to be on the grand stage on this YouTube channel. Which, by the way, has like nearly 2 million subscribers, if you can see that. What a grand opportunity for her to share her faith with the world in front of everybody. Let's watch her not compromise and share her faith with the entire world. Aboard, and you should know me, Lauren Daigle. I grew up in Lafayette, Louisiana, in the Deep South. Okay, she talks about growing up in Louisiana. All right, she'll get to it before too long. My first job was babysitting at 11 years old, um, and then grew from there to Smoothie King, and then I worked in a bakery making king cakes, which if you know anything about Louisiana, Mardi Gras is like the best time of year. I've never heard a Christian say that Mardi Gras was the best time of year. I've heard a lot of Christians say that Mardi Gras was a debauchery and a bunch of sin and wickedness and vileness. I've never heard it say it was the best time of year. That's weird. I uh, we'll move on. If a genie granted me a wish right now, what would I wish for? I really want to start some nonprofit organizations like for children's and children in orphanages and just around the world. So probably something in the philanthropic area. Okay, so she wants to help people. Yeah, I mean, that's good. That's good. If someone were to play me in a movie, I would love for it to be Jennifer Lawrence because that girl's pretty. Jennifer Lawrence, yeah, okay. The last TV show I binged watch, classic, This Is Us. Yeah, I'm not much of a TV watcher, but that had me sucked in and crying every day. She'll get to it. I, 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 I know she'll get to it, sharing her faith in Jesus Christ with the world. I know she's gonna be bold and talk about Jesus. She'll get to it. If my life was a book, the title would be... My life was a book. That's a great question. Certainly, she's going to say something about Jesus here at this one. Okay, let's watch. How to live like a child in an adult-proof world. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the Apostle Paul would have written the same book. What is she doing? Talk a... She'll get to it. She'll get to it. My biggest musical inspirations. Oh, musical inspiration. She's certainly going to talk about Fanny Crosby or P.P. P. Bliss or, you know, John Newton, Amazing Grace. And, and she's going to talk about all those great historic hymns of the faith here because, you know, she's going to be bold for Jesus. And uh, she's, she's not a fraud. She's a genuine Christian. And uh, here it is. Watch this. She's going, to, she's, going to, she's going to shock the world. Watch this. They kind of have a vast range, but... Aretha Franklin, Roberta Flack, Amy Winehouse, Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Adele. Um, man, there's so many. I love Frank Sinatra, um, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, the list is long, but beautiful. This isn't going well. She'll get to it though. She'll she she'll talk about Jesus. She will. Trust me. Why should people listen to my music? Why should people listen to her music? This is it. This this is this is where she's gonna talk about the Lord and she's gonna talk about being saved and how her message is a Christian message and it's, a, it's something about Jesus Christ. She's she's a genuine, totally sold out to Jesus Christian, and she's living for God. Because um, I think the message is one of hope and unity and. Right now we're in crazy times in the world and I think that people want to have love to hold on to. They want to have truth to hold on to. 
They want to be able to sit next to someone and not feel like everyone is a stranger in the world. And I think that this music has a connectability to it where um, people don't feel alone. They feel identified. They feel known when they hear it. That's some of the response that I'm getting, um, which is just insanely beautiful. Like I've read comments about people saying, you know, I was going to commit suicide, but then I heard this song and it completely changed me. And then other people commenting under, well, I'm, I'm suicidal, can someone help me? And you're, it's watching this like unity form between people who don't even know each other because the sound is, is transcendent. And so I think for me, that's the best gift and also a lot of people should listen. Oh man. Oh no. Well, yeah, she, Lauren Daigle is is she's not a sellout. No, she's she's not somebody that played church in the early years when she was just a YouTube star and putting out small potatoes albums and now that she's achieved mainstream success, she's dropping the whole Christian facade and just going full secular. She's she's not doing that. Trust me, she's not. And neither did Katy Perry, and neither did Amy Grant. In all seriousness, guys, she's a fraud. She's a fraud.